Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here, and we are me alongside Remick Cody. We How's are it going? doing good today, Remick, and we are right in bus number 18 right. from the Adelberg Transit Center on the way to Norton, and Massachusetts. Fun, and having fun, right, Remick? Yes. Yes. Here with my buddy Pete. Right, Remick. Right, Remick. Good. Right. And we are riding through downtown Adelberg. Did you go to uh, church and stuff this weekend? Yes, I went to Shabbat on Saturday Shabbat. And, and church on Sunday. Oh, okay. You do one and then the other? One and the other, yep. Very nice. Very yep. Nice. Yes. And do you still see your uh, old teacher there? Uh, I think her name. The one who used to help you? Ms. Bonda, she's doing yes. good. Yes. Ms. Bonda, Ms. Bonda, she's doing very good. Excellent. I haven't seen her in years. Yes. And this used to be the old Union Theater. That, this one? Th th this one right there. Yeah. That used to be a Union movie theater. Th Very. Remember, remember back in the days when? Right. Movie are, Gordon. Are you getting off of Wheaton? Yep, Wheaton also. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm getting off there too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm actually just moved back to Norton. Good for you, Remy. Yeah. Where, where in Norton did you move? Power Street. Oh, I see. Yep, right near the new church. Yeah. Yep. And, and now, that's the Salvation Army. That used to be a Remember kid's the toy store. Yes, the Kids Town toy kids store. Town. Kids Town. Woohoo! I used to get all my Beanie Babies there. Wow! Remember those good old days, Beanie yeah. Babies. Beanie Babies, yo-yos. Yo-yos and all sorts Tamagotchis. of things. Tamagotchis. Remember the Tamagotchis? Tamagotchis. Yes, yes. Tamagotchis. Yep. <laughs> you don't look at me. Did you tie your bow yourself? Yes. Excellent. Very good. I don't even know how to tie. I could do a tie, but just not a bow. Yep, good. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> What'd you do for lunch today? Um, I went to Burger King and I had some honey barbecue chicken strips and fries at the Emerald Square Mall. Nice. Excellent. That's awesome. Excellent. Yes, and I just I, came from the mall. Wow, good. I didn't see you there, though. Oh. And I saw Jay McDermott there. Oh, did you? I saw Jay McDermott. Do you know him? I saw, yeah, I, I remember them. She takes yep. the whole I, I know. I saw that you saw the Childers Brothers yep. the other day. Childers. Dave, Dave and Cliff? Yep, Dave and Cliff at BJ's and Taunton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, I, haven't, I, I saw Dave recently, but I haven't seen Cliff in a couple of years. Yep. Yep. It's always good running into you, Pete. Right, 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 right. And, and I was doing some research at the North... And I'll be a pop one of my break of 123 Pleasant Street yeah, yeah. looked like back in 1990. Wow. Oh, wow. Can you believe that's 24 years ago now? Yeah, 24 years ago now. It's crazy. Yep. Yeah. Makes me feel old. Me old, yes. Uh, Is this yours? Yes. Oh, okay. I was just looking at it. Yes, but. <laughs> I like your socks there. Thank buddy. you. That's nice. It was a cool Brown, one. Did you pick them all yourself? Pick by my myself. Yeah, very nice. Yes, and we're going down yeah. Route 118. Yes, we are. And that sturdy hospital, that's the bridge we used before that, used to be the old post office. And that used to be Caliber City Hall. Oh, this cinnamon is so adorable. No. Oh, hey! Oh, you're uh, a good girl. Hey, Cinnamon! Yeah. Hey, Cinnamon! How are you doing, Cinnamon? Hey, Cinnamon! You are such a beautiful dog, and I like that purple sweater. Oh, that boy was having such a good time with her. Oh, yeah. I thought it was his dog. He was having such a good time. I was afraid he was going to kick her in the back because we were all in so close. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I'm old stepping on her kitchen. I'm not doing a purpose. No, I know. I'm, I have yeah. a, I'm a cat. And yeah. Thank you so much. I love. I don't get. My wife's highly allergic. Yeah. So I don't get the. I don't get to have the dogs a lot. Thank you so much. You want me to put it back up there? Oh, okay. Ooh, that's, not a cool one. that's all right. Adorable. Thank you very much. Yes, you are. You're a gorgeous little girl. Right now. 
Isn't she pretty? Yes, yeah, right. Pretty. I know. I, I love that combination, but I don't even want to think about how it was. Yeah. I, I really love that combination. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Lance Buick. You know the, you remember Anderson Chrysler? Yes, yeah, Anderson yeah, Chrysler. used to be down there. Yep. You remember the old Anderson, right? You remember the Anderson. How old Chrysler? are you? 28. Wow. 28. Oh yeah, he's got, he, everything. Everything. Yep. It's good. Tell him your birthday, I'll tell you what day you're born on. Like, your birthday. 5, 5, 6, 6, 20. On a Sunday. Yep. On a Sunday. I bet like five people mom Yeah. Yeah, he's good with that. Rockland Trust before that used to be D'Angelo's, before that used to be Wendy's. I like D'Angelo's. I don't know why they took it out. Yeah. I would have asked you, but I didn't want, I know you don't ask a lady about the birthday thing. <laughs> and that used to be Friendly's. Friendly's yeah, and she, he does it for anyone. Anyone. Gets it right on. Yep. Found a knowledge, right? Yep. Found a knowledge, right? That's how you do. You look up things and you study them. Look up things. Just click. Study them. Instant knowledge. There you and, go. And another thing, you know how you can tell when it's your birthday, what day you were born? Yeah. The day that skips your, um, the day of the week. Oh, yeah. yeah. I never have a birthday on a Sunday. Yep. Yep. And that's the day you're born. That's, right. that's one way of knowing it. Yeah. Yes. Well, it takes seven years to get your next birthday on Saturday, plus leap year, yeah, but... Never had it on a Sunday. Really? Never. So, you were May 5th, 1963, you were born on a Sunday, so... The birthdays that you would have had on Sunday was back in 1968, 1974, 1985, 1991, 1996, 2002, and 2013. Wow! <laughs> I don't remember having anything on Sunday. Um, I don't remember. And you know what? Is it, you know, you can... It, it's good that people are re actually retaining like that. Because other kids, they don't, they don't think, oh, I don't need to learn that. I can just Google it. You know what I mean? I can just look it up real quick. But learn something. Read a book. You know what I mean? I still read I still read probably three books a week. Yes, I... I That's a lot of books. Oh, I just... I, I do it. It's mostly to put myself to sleep. I have insomnia. So I, as for I me, book, as me, I, right me, I do a lot of video taking and photo taping and reading and writing all yeah, sorts of things. Uh, channel and everything. Yeah. He does like weathers and stuff like that. Turns back the clock. Yeah. 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 You name it. I saw that uh, the thing about the um, water park that they were supposed to put in. Yeah. Back in 97? 97, 98. Yeah. That would have been awesome. That would have. It would have. It would have been a too much money though. Too, too much, much money. Too much money to keep it going. A lot of money. Yeah. And remember, Lego Park used to be in Mansfield. That's right. Ran 92, 93. You know what I wish they still had open was a mini golf place. Yes. Oh, yeah. That was a good place. That was a good place to play golf and have good time. Yeah, food too. The food was good there Food was too. good there too. Pizza, cheeseburgers. Pizza, cheeseburgers. You name it. Yeah, they got it. Good stuff. Good stuff. And now there used to be an auto dealership and now. So you didn't leave from around here? Born in Worcester, I grew up in Philadelphia. Oh, okay, all right. Fantastic. Yeah. And I moved out here in 78. Then I moved out here in Philadelphia. My brother was born in 78. <laughs> uh, February 4th, 1978. On a Saturday, and that was the week when that big blizzard of big blizzard 78 hit. It was my mom actually had to stay two extra days in the hospital because of that. Yeah. Yes. And they just tore it down. Yeah. yeah. They said it didn't meet the requirements for a historical building. I mean, the place was falling apart. It was getting old. It really was. It needed a lot of work, and it would have been. It would have been not obviously not the same as building a whole new one, but comparatively, uh, it was just time. I like old but they should have kept it open. They, you know, they should have. 
people are married there, you know what I mean? People have memories. My grandfather was parishioner there for 35 years. Wow. Since 1952 when he moved in. Wow. He passed away in 04, and he was doing it probably about, probably longer than 35 years now. Now I think about it. He was, cause he did it all the way up until about three years before he died, so about 2000, 2001. So actually about 45, 50 years. They just, you know, to have such a dedication to a place like that. I mean, even the priest told a joke about how it would be him and another guy that he was with that would be handing out the pamphlets for the for, for the pearly gates, and that was that's how he did it. He was always out there, first one there, for last one. Good guy. Good guy. He's actually in Smithsonian Museum. He does. He used to hub and die cutting, and uh, he did a coin collection. It's the U.S. Mint coin collection, but it's ten times smaller. It's to scale, and everything done by hand. Done by hand. Uh, he had his own Ralph W. Ralph Cody Incorporated, and he worked for Klitzner's. He worked. Um, he worked for Klitzner's before that, but he owned his own business. Before. He owned his own thing out of the basement. Probably 25 years. Uh, but yep. Before that, he worked at Klitzner's and Relco. Um, I can't remember any of the other places, but he bounced around a lot. He did a lot of like uh, contract work for them and stuff. Yep. He did. Um, he actually did the Romanian coat of arms for the royal family. Yeah, he, wow. was, he was one of the last people to do it, like strictly by hand, hand tools, like little chisel, like, real, really by hand. He went to Brown School of Design. Wow. Nine, nine years, and then he taught for three years. Yeah, he loved it, loved it. He was, uh, he was in World War II, Battle wow. of the Bulge with Patton, 3rd Armored Division. Wow. Real, true All-American, you know? Real All-American. Just like me, love my country, right. love my town, great right. mimic, woohoo! <laughs> and and this is a head station before that, yet yeah, used to be the sports, the sports, gas, gas, sports station. gas station. Right. It used to be a farm before yeah, that. Yeah, farm before that. Yeah. I remember that it used to have the, 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 the barn was like right here in between. Yep. That used to be the hot dog stand, and now it's fresh catch on a roll. Yes. I haven't tried it yet. Is it any good? I'll have to try it. Yeah, try it sometime. Let me know. And the honeydew's still around? Yes, thank God. A long time. The guy who owns it lives up in North Alabama. Does he? Yeah. He owns this one there. The one in and North Alabama. The one in North Alabama, too. Yeah. And the one in uh, yes. right on the border of Kentucky and um, South Alabama. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. He also has another That's one, right. too. The Walgreens, yeah, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Walgreens before that, that used to be a a variety store. And before that, that used to be a Getty station. Yeah, Haskins there. Haskins, Haskins, Haskins has been there for a while. A long time. It closed yeah. recently. It closed? Recently. Oh, no. Oh. I didn't even know that. So, yeah, because they were being bought by CVS. Oh. Because Haskins did good business. Yeah, they did. They, yeah. helped, they had a lot. My grandparents used to get the delivery service they had. You don't see too many pharmacies that deliver anymore. No. No. Walgreens do. They do? Yeah. Wow. They just started up again. Years I think that that's a good thing to go yeah. by. I mean, you got old people that can't go out all the time. And, yeah. That'd be a good idea because the elderly people, if they want to go get the pharmacies and they can't drive, right. the delivery service will that's be a... Right. Like Meals on Wheels, good. except... Yeah. Meals on Wheels with food. I didn't even catch your name, man. Bubba. Right. Now approaching... Bubba. Norton Peter. I get off when you turn the corner. Turn the corner. Yep. You coming? Yep. Okay. Right. Go on to the top of the wheat.